Hi everyone, welcome back to Minute with Mindy. This is episode 14 and today's topic is kindness. Boy, we've really had a hard start to 2021. I had a hard time figuring out what to talk about today. We looked forward to 2021 with a lot of hope and expectation and we've been met with a lot of challenges just in the first two weeks. So I thought I'd talk about kindness today. A friend shared this quote on Facebook and I've seen it before and it was really the, kind of the impetus for this talk today. And here's the quote. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. I wanted to know who said this. So I went on a little internet search and found that it is often attributed to an inspirational author and blogger. Her name is Jennifer Dukes Lee. Uh, she used this quote in a blog post in 2016. And when you look a little bit further, she clearly says the quote is unknown. So we don't really know what the source is. But her, her, um, how she found herself using this quote was um, she had received a very harsh email from a subscriber. They had sent something middle of the night, 3.30 in the morning, uh, some kind of response to her blog post that was just mean-spirited and harsh. Um, so she found the email a stark reminder of a culture of meanness that has cropped up around us. And meanness, she said, has been fueled by a wave of cynicism and overappreciation for snark and by politicians and talking heads who pander to the worst parts of us. And meanness that is the stuff of playground bullies. She goes on to describe this meanness as having a partnership and they have a little bit of a friend with narcissism. Saying meanness and narcissism hold hands. Meanness says what I feel matters most. Most, I have no empathy for you. If you are in the way, I will roll over you. Her response to the email, this mean email that she received was, you guessed it, a little dose of kindness. Because in a world where you can be anything, you should be kind. She politely and kindly responded, although she felt the urge to be mean in return. But she wanted the cycle of meanness to end with her. She went on to say, mean is easy. The harder, braver choice, kindness. It's one of the most underrated virtues of our time. And I tend to agree. This is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. weekend, and his message was one of kindness. Dr. King's message is timeless, and we still have a long way to go. He promoted peace and nonviolence while fighting against injustice, calling for the end of racism and segregation. He said, I have decided to stick with love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. Treat one another with kindness today. And until next time, encourage one another in spirit and in love.